Susan. Mr. Morgan. What do you think we should do? About Dutch. He has a lot of pressure on him. Don't forget all he's done for you. I ain't forgotten a thing. All right. Okay, Arthur? Sit down. Please. <clears throat> I'm fine. You don't look fine. Well, I had some... Uh, some bad news. Was it Mary? No. No, not exactly. That's me. I'm sick. Sick? Yeah. I might die. Oh. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Me too. Me too. Maybe you'll get better. I don't think so. Then... Then I'm sorry. Only the thing is, since then, <clears throat> since then, I've started seeing things differently. I don't know. The whole world seems different somehow. How so? I can't explain it. Like, Better, almost. That a good thing? I guess it is. Only sometimes I ain't doing the good thing. Maybe it's a sign, Arthur. Try. Try to do the good thing. I guess. Only it ain't always clear what that is. <laughs> <laughs> Not with the big stuff. I know. <laughs> Trust me, I know. It's all over. All over. It's... I don't want to die. Not like this, not... I don't want that. I don't... With you... Yeah. It's all so sad, Mr. Morgan. So very sad. I... I don't know. I don't know. <coughs> Mr. Morgan, you don't look very well. Uh, I'm not, Reverend. <coughs> I fear I'm pretty sick. I'm so sorry. You seem well, on the other hand. Yes, I'm... I've stopped all that silly business. I think I'm okay. Well, that's wonderful news. <laughs> How? I don't know. I met a Catholic lady, a nun, and we prayed, and it was lifted. The curse was lifted. Good. I can't believe it. Really, I can't. All those years I wasted. The 
eternity waits for us all. But which eternity? Help a blind man. Bad news awaits you, sir. Sadly, sooner than you think. But beyond the news, paradise awaits. Paradise. Uh, sure. Okay, mister. <laughs> All the best now. Don't waste any more time with an old blind man. Go out there and become who you are. Easy. You Help. okay? Hell. You Help. sick, partner? Uh, it, it's in Whoa. me. They're in me. Yeah, you're not well, friend. Uh, but just crit. Butcher's crick! Where? Uh, Butcher's crick! Is that where you're from? Butcher's crick. You want me to take you back, or...? Uh, me. Uh, come on, let me get you home. Oh, Butcher's crick. Okay, girl. some distress. <laughs> yeah, he uh, seems calmer now. I found him out in the woods. Well, Lemuel, sweet Lemuel, such a nice man, such a good man. Come here, Lemuel, come on. Get up here, I hope you have Since the troubles began, he just he's not the same. It's in me. Why is he looking at me funny? Uh, no, he, he's not well. It's, it's, it's the darkness. It's, he said it's the darkness. Who says it's the darkness? Well, the village is... Well, thank you, sir. I thank, thank you for... Lim ah, thank me! Please. 
Fix it, please. Uh, 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 them heels are not well, sir. Uh, uh, you got yeah. anything for me? Oh, uh, yeah. Of course, sir. Love and friendship in the darkness. What else are there? Obadiah Hinton, that's me. Yeah. <laughs> love and friendship. Friendship and love. We're not a rich village, sir. But with love, rich. We thank uh, you. Okay. The painter! Okay. What are you dressed up like that for? Oh, I am a wanted man, persecuted for my art! As bad as it is, I don't think that the art is the problem. In Paris, they say leave! Go far away! We will never understand you here! I say, I go to Saint-Denis! They say that is not far enough! <laughs> it seems to me that they were right. But it doesn't matter. Now, I go to South Pacific. They always tell me the light there is perfect for my work. Well, so long as they weren't telling you that just to get you on the other side of the world. Perhaps. It doesn't matter. Help me get to the next ship. They are watching the port, and I need a chaperone. <sighs> okay, come on. Oh. I'll tell you what I want, miss. Civilization! So oppressive! So stifling! I can hardly breathe in this city! Yeah, I kinda know what you mean. Why I thought I would find my way in a country founded by Puritans, I'll never know! I know those men! I shot on that bar! Quick, behind here! Remind me to avoid that place. Back, back. The money lenders. We go another way. We go through here. What's this? Quickly! <gasps> I thought I knew him. Please do not do that again. Now get moving, come on. I didn't know the circus is so in town. So wait, you ain't so none of your work. There is always a heavy demand for fresh mediocrity, but new kinds of radiance. Not so much. A new kind? The hurt in the face. Where are you going, pretty lady? Anywhere you want, mon ami. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> What are you looking at? Bar shitting, money borrowing, wife stealing. You sure got a way of ingratiating yourself with people. If the purpose of life was to be liked, it would be very boring indeed. I've developed the feeling the purpose ain't to be hated. Hate, love, they are the same. 
I provoke, I challenge, I amuse du remote with my impropriety. A mediocre life is meaningless. A bold life filled with art and truth, dirty truth. Look at you, pretty little thing. Woo! Oh, 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 oh. Hello, boys. Come on. The sailors know who they're bunking with. We have many weeks together. We will get to know each other well. Well, good luck to all of you. Relax. Hey, up here. She is my ship. <sighs> we made it. Let's go. Oh, no, 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 no. Ship's leaving soon. Ah, merci, merci. All aboard for the South Pacific. Adieu. Merci, mon ami. So long. If they don't like you in the islands, keep on going to the South Pole. Ah, yes. I hear there. The light is really fantastic. Ah, au revoir. Sister. Brother Dorgans and I were talking about you just the other day and hoping we would see you again. Well, how is Brother Dorkins? Oh, he's quite well. A little frustrated with the workings of our order. He keeps trying to be sent overseas, you know, do something with more challenge, maybe uh, be a missionary. He's a lovely man. Sure. And how are you? Uh, never better. Are you sure? Uh, I'm quite sure, sister. You know, a long time ago, I was like you. I very much doubt that. Oh, no, I did terrible things, awful things. And I could not stop doing terrible things because I did not believe that goodness existed. And then one day, I saw that love did exist. And ever since then, doing bad things became, well, not impossible, but pff, ridiculous. I guess I'm just hoping for a, a dignified exit. I shall pray for you. Oh, I'm not a religious man, sister. <laughs> I'm an outlaw. <laughs> oh, what fun. Religion is just a word. Hearts are rarely pure, but equally they are rarely impure either. Well, that's an interesting way of putting it. <laughs> to me, God is people and people are God, so we must all do what we can. These people are starving. Go find them some food. Don't worry so much about your heart. The actions will lead, and the heart follows. I'll still think of you in very nasty terms, as you wish. You know what, sister? I think I've already got plenty of food on me. They could just eat my... You are wonderful, Mr. Morgan. Now, that ain't true. Oh, I meant wonderful, but so very frightening, as you wish. 
consider your good deed done for the day. I won't subject you to any more benevolence. Sister Ethel makes a fabulous stew. They will be so happy. Well, anyway, I must focus on the work at hand. This is ridiculous, mate. You're telling me. Might be time to call it quits. You what? Have you gone mad? I love that boy. Big bloody dope that he is. No, no, I'll find him. Uh, he's, he's probably just off on a spree if I know Gav. <laughs> well, good luck. And a nuisance, brother. Helen, is this creepy little toad bothering you again? Shall I throw him off? This is getting quite out of hand. Hand? Oh, he doesn't. Oh, Arthur, how are you? Never better. See, you two haven't changed much. No, he's still a lizard. Now we're turbo. Mommy's boy. Vanity. Effluent discharge. No, stop. You already said that. Uh, I did not. <laughs> You're a milk sap. Well, you are all chatter and no testes, dear brother. Helen, I will make you love me if it's the last thing I do. And to prove how suitable I am to make a happy and stable life with, I shall throw myself over the waterfall in just a barrel. And so shall I, just to demonstrate how little your feeble gestures mean, you homunculus. Arthur, please come do the honors and make sure we, um... Uh, oh, you silly little tapeworm of a man. Follow me! Follow you? I was born first. Helen, I love you. And brother, you're living proof of God's remarkable sense of humor! Crazy bastard. Huh? 
Is that you? <laughs> I've had the wind knocked out of me. <laughs> I thought you were a goner. <laughs> It's a miracle we're alive. Silly, silly voice. You nearly died. For me. <laughs> She's right. Dear brother, what fools we've been. You're the fool. But a brave one. You might be dense, but you are the noblest man I know. You are a lion. Giant. You are an earth shaker. World. Conqueror! Let's Ow. not let anything come between us again. Never. Boys? I, I, Good I, lady, adieu. Bewitch, some other milk sops. We will have none of it. But I, I thought uh, that... Before this siren calls us to the rocks again, let us away from here. You lead the way, brother. The West awaits. Boys? Boys? <sighs> There's quite some suitors you've picked there. I was trying to stop them from killing themselves. They won't last a week without mm, me. Probably not. But you'll have an easier time. I guess I will. So long. <sighs> oh, I wasn't trying to lead them on, you know. It was just exciting. The smartest men I knew. Positively the least sense. <laughs> yeah. Yes, usually the way it works. Good luck. Clear this right up for you. Be seen. Easy, girl. <laughs> Mr. Sinclair? Huh? Oh, hello. Can I help you? Oh, I'm sorry for intruding. Uh, Mrs. Sinclair? Yes. How did you know? I'm looking for your husband. My husband? Yeah. He's dead. He's been dead since just before Francis was born one year ago. Your husband, Francis, is dead? No, this is Francis. My husband, Tom, is dead. Uh, 
I'm a little confused. Yes, I think you are. What was your name? Uh, uh, that's not important. Excuse me.